hi friends welcome to today's video so today we are going to discuss an important interview questions that is on operator one is the equality operator and one is the identity operator so today we are going to see that how an interviewer can ask different type of questions on identity operator as well as the differences among both so let's see first the equality operator so equality operator is basically denoted by double equals to and this is I can say this is equality operator and then we have triple equals to which is basically the identity so let's see first the equality operator which is mostly used so for example let's say that if I have a number called x which is 5 and then I have a number called y equals to again 5 so if I write if x equals equals to y and if I write print yes so what will the output the output will be basically yes because both are same and that's why it's printed yes so equality op operator what it checks it checks for the value of the operator or value of the object that you are using now let's try to use here triple equals to and see if the compiler allows you to do, do so now the moment you use it it tells that argument type int expected to be instance of class or class constant type now this error gives you a big hint that we cannot use identity operator on non class reference okay so we can use we cannot use it in integers array or uh, strings or even the struct because everything in swift is value type okay so let's say that if i have a struct you just quickly write a struct let's say struct person and this have a variable called name and if I create let person 1 equals to and let me create another person okay now if I write again if person 1 equals equals to or triple equals to person 2 the compiler will again give me a uh, error and it will be exactly the same error that we got the last time so you see argument type person expected to be instance of class or class constant type okay now let me use double equals to here and see that if it works in the case of structures now let me give the double equals to and you can see here that even the double equals to gives error in the case of a struct and if you see the error that binary operator cannot be applied on two person operands now in this case when you, we are using a structure also we cannot directly compare because when you compare to a struct object the compiler is actually confused that what to compare because it has to finally compare the properties okay now in a structure case it is very easy you just have to tell the comp compiler that I'm conforming to this equitable protocol now once you, you confirm to this equitable protocol internally what the struct is doing it is creating a function basically a equality function where it is comparing all the property we can even create write our own custom equality function let's say that if I don't want to compare uh, the struct for all the property let's say that if I have one more property here let's say something which is a string and I'm just giving its value to here India and same thing goes here now in this case even when you write name in country what the compiler is trying to do to compare it is comparing both name and country by default now, if you want to have just one then in that case you can define a custom equitable function so in this case let's say that if I just change the name to uh, okay let me keep it iOS and Android and if I run it it will not print me just yes because both the person are actually different because name are different okay now if I delete this and if I delete this here also now both will become same because now the name and country are exactly same okay now what if if I don't want this okay in that case I just want to compare 
the name that if the name is same I just want to you know, tell my structure that okay both the object are same in that case in that case what you can do you can write a, a custom function basically custom equality function and here we have to just pass both the object and what this will return this will return again a boolean variable okay and what you have to do I am just returning that if the name are same then just tell that this is a same person okay so now let's say that even if I change India to United Kingdom and if I run it again this is giving me just because I am comparing just the name let me change to country and in this case it will not print me anything okay because now it's comparing to country and country are different so that's how that we can use this equality function to all the value type in the swift okay then where in the in which case we can use this identity operator so as the error said uh, that time or let me just show you error again so it is saying that it is the identity operator can be used only on the class type okay now what I will do now I will change this uh, uh, sorry structure to class okay that's fine now my class is person which is again confirmed into equitable and by default in the structures the initializers are there so it was not complaining but in the class you have to define the initializer so let me just write initializers here so in it and what it will take both the parameter okay so now this would be good the error is gone now one case that is that when I am just uh, removing this function okay just commenting for time being the compiler will throw you error and what is telling that in the in the case of class once you confirm to this equal protocol you have to implement this uh, function that what you have written without that the class will not able to compare okay so now I will uncomment this code and what I will basically write that I want to compare with whole uh, person object not with just the country so this should also be equal and apart from the country my name should also be equal okay now if I run it it will print me nothing because person 1 and person 2 are different so let me change the country back to India and now you can see that person 1 and person 2 both are equal okay now let me just switch it back to United Kingdom and use here double equals to okay but before that what I'm doing going to do I'm not going to create this person to now an, as a new reference instead of that let me just change it back to where and this also I'll just write where person 2 equals to person 1 okay now if you uh, know come from uh, this reference type concept in the class so what basically we have uh, read till now that if we copy one class reference to another class so it's actually the address that is getting copied okay now in this case when you run this code what it's print it prints yes that means both are equal okay but now I'm switching it again back to the old code and making it commenting this line and in this case when I run this it will not print anything because both are having different address because both are an, a different object not just pointing to each other okay now this is what uh, basically the identity identity operator is that you are comparing the address of the object instead of the actual value okay now let's trick this a little more so what I'm going to do is now let's see that I have this person 2 now let's print the address of this person 1 and person 2 both okay so let me just write the code
okay this code you can find online this uh, will be there at multiple places how to print the address of a uh, reference type in swift okay now i'll just copy this paste it here and what i'll do i'll just replace with percent 2 and here also percent 2 now in this case it is printing yes okay and if you see the address is also coming as same because i'm just copying this variable to this variable okay now let me define a border here and now the tricky part of this question will start now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to change the value of person 2 dot name equals to let's say that or person 2 dot country equals to united kingdom okay now at one point of time what will come into uh, our mind that at one address we will have just one object right because in this case uh, what was happening that the person 2 was having the exact the same value what person 1 is having but now I'm changing the no like value of person 2 now in this case after this let's try to print the address of both okay and also we are still going with person 1 triple equals to person 2 let's see what happens now what you will see that still they are equal still even after changing this uh, property value this will still print me yes let's see why and now you see that still it's yes and one more thing if you have noticed that the address is still same the, even after changing the value of one object the address is not changing now why now here is actually the magic how basically the reference type works in Swift. So basically when I created the person 1, so what is that? It's basically an instance of the person class, right? Now what is basically this person 1? So this is, I can say this is a pointer or a reference to a place in this memory, okay? That represents this person 1 instance. Now when you write this where person 2 equals to person 1 so what I, what I'm basically doing that I'm creating another pointer or I'm creating another reference that is still pointing to the same memory so both have the same memory but in the same memory they have different pointers so it's not like that uh, in one uh, memory address if I have different no, uh, objects and the each objects have different value they will have different uh, uh, addresses if they are pointed to each other the answer is no if in this case the address will still remain same even if you change person 1 value or person 2 value the address is not going to change because when you initialize this person 2 you initialize it with the reference of person 1 so they will always share the same address regardless of whatever the value that are changing and that's the reason that when you change the value it doesn't change okay the same thing I can do with uh, even the person 1 thing okay so let me just copy and paste it again now in this case I'll change it uh, person 2 or let's say person 1 dot country equals to uh, let's say United State okay now I'm again printing the same person 1 and person 2 and still we are comparing this two object okay now see the value so what do you see the address is still remaining same even if you are changing the value of person 1 or person 2 it doesn't matter okay and this identity operator is still printing yes that means the address of both the object is still same okay so don't confuse when the interviewer is trying to you know, just change the value and asking that okay in this case is it going to be same or is it going to be different now let's see the one um, last case that now what we did here that I created this person 1 and then I assigned this person 1 to person 2. Now what I'm doing, I'm writing person 1 equals to person and this time I'm creating a new object or person completely. Okay, I'll call app developer and let's say the country is India. Okay, now this time let's print this set again. 
no i've just removed this i don't want to change anything right now i have already changed this now what will happen after this line is the address still going to remain same now the answer is no because now what you are doing that when you initialize the person 2 person 2 was having the address of person 1 because person 1 was created earlier okay now what i'm doing i'm recreating the person 1 object that means that now the person 1 will get a new address it's not like that you are modifying the existing object by changing some properties so in this case the person 1 will get the new address but person 2 will still point to the address that was given to him by person 1 okay and in this case as the two addresses are different this identity operator will return me no so it will not print anything in this case okay so let's run it and see and you can see that first thing that there is no yes that means the address are different and the same thing you can see here so if you see that for the first time uh, the person one was having the address of in the last you can see 4 cd920 the same was being carried but finally now you can see in the last the person one now gets a new address that is 4CE520 and person 2 carries the same address that was given to him with refer reference to person 1. Okay, so that's all about this equality and identity operator. So, identity operator we always use on the class type, not on value type. Okay, and we also covered that in which scenarios we can have a different uh, um, no output while comparing with the identity operator hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have really liked this video please do subscribe the channel and share among your ios groups do leave your feedback thank you thanks for watching